before the VPN functionality can be switched on in LWeb 900, at least the following license must be installed. The so-called VPN Basic License. This license is per project. A VPN Maintenance License can also be installed. This is necessary if web services are to be addressed via the Loitech homepage. In contrast to the basic license, the VPN maintenance license is only valid for one year. Once this period has expired, the functionality can no longer be used. However, already registered devices are still functional. In this example, we will deal with both licenses. Here is an example of what such a VPN infrastructure could look like. Our LWeb 900 server is in a DMZ. This is also the VPN server at the same time. Devices are now on the LAN. These devices can communicate with the LWeb 900 server via a VPN tunnel, perhaps also through firewalls. Loitech devices, as well as the LWeb 900 server, can now communicate with the Loitech web server on the internet. The devices will communicate their VPN configuration to the Loitech web server, which in turn will automatically configure the LWeb 900 server. And this is exactly what this VPN maintenance license is required for. Of course, the Loitech devices can also be registered manually on the LWeb 900 server. LWeb 900 clients, in turn, have also set up a VPN tunnel to the LWeb 900 server. It is now possible subsequently change the database for historical data and alarms. To do this, go to your project in LWeb 900 server and right-click. Choose Project Management. There, select Migrate Data Log Database. Now you can select a new database. A new menu item has been added to the Project Preferences, Firewall Settings. Here, you can see an overview of all ports used in your project. If you are using a Windows Firewall, you can also transfer these settings directly to the settings of your Windows Firewall with this checkbox. A possibility has been created to change the passwords of one or more devices at the same time. To do this, select the desired devices, press the right mouse button, and go to the Device Configuration – Change Device Password. In addition to the known option of downloading the firmware from DALI devices, it is now also possible to update connected sensors. In Node Red, data points can now be transferred to the corresponding nodes with a simple drag and drop.
The configuration of the master schedulers can now be saved to a file. When this is done, individual calendar items from this file can later be imported back into a scheduler. Notes can now also be created under Library, Files. This note can now be assigned directly to an object. It is also possible to assign this note to several objects or alarms by selecting the appropriate filter. If an LTE 800 device is connected to the Loitech device, it is now also possible to send alarm messages via SMS. To configure this, go to the project settings and select the SMS settings. Here, you can now assign different names with the corresponding telephone numbers. Project backups can now also be created on a network basis. To do this, Select System Backup and change the location to a network drive. Caution, the so-called UNC path must be specified here since the network drives are not mapped when the Alweb 900 server is running. Also, enter a username and password. The export of individual projects is similar to the backup. Go to the desired project, press the right mouse button and select Export Project. The difference to a backup here is that the sensitive data such as the VPN settings are not exported unless they are explicitly selected.